Hey there, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great week. Today we're talking all about this brand new style from Lily Jade, the Britney. All right, so as you can see right off the bat, I have a lot going on here today. <laughs> I put a post over on the Lily Jade um, chat page on Facebook as well as a couple on my Instagram and of course my latest YouTube video where I do a first impression and a walk through of this bag as well as Lily Jade's other new style, the Sleek Pack. Um, but I put a post over there just asking if anybody had any questions around this Britney bag and you guys had a ton, <laughs> a ton of questions. I have a whole pad of paper over here beside me that hopefully I will be able to touch on each and every one of them and give you a better idea of the size and what will fit inside this new style here. I'm gonna go ahead and start off this video by answering a handful of those questions and doing a bunch of the comparison type questions and what will fit, how much will fit, water bottles, all that fun stuff, and then I'm gonna jump into a normal packing video that you guys are used to seeing from me. One of the most common questions that I was getting about this Britney bag was the overall size. It was really hard to see and tell the size of this bag by all of the pictures, so a lot of you had asked about comparisons to other Lily Jade styles. This one here is definitely the smallest, besides the sleep pack, of course, that was just launched and their wristlet and things like that, it is the smallest type of Lily Jade bag. It's a cute handbag type bag. It's a great everyday bag. I think you can fit a lot more in this bag than you think you can. It holds a good bit for being such a nice, small, compact size. So I have it here next to the Madeline, which was asked, as well as the Caroline. I do have a couple other Lily Jade styles in my closet, like the Medium Anna bag, the Megan, of course. I don't feel like those really compare to this bag. Definitely not the Megan. The Megan is currently Lily Jade's largest bag. So I didn't pull those out, but if there's more questions, I can always post something over on Instagram. So just let me know below if there is. So like I said, this is the Britney. The Madeline here is right next to it. I'm gonna go ahead and move these things out of the way, which is just a couple of small accessories that you guys were asking about, which we'll get to in just a second. But I want to pull forward um, the Madeline here next to the Britney, so you can see the two of them side by side, almost in the frame there. Kind of doing this on a whim, but <laughs> so here you go. You have the Madeline, of course, to the left, and then the Britney here to the right. The Madeline's obviously going to be a little bit wider of a bag here and a little bit shorter. The Britney is a little bit more structured than the Madeline and even the Caroline. I do feel that over time the bag is going to give and wear and get nice and soft just like the old English leather tends to do and even the vegan leather options. My Caroline that's the um, camel colored vegan leather is so soft and squishy. So I do really think that it's going to give over time, but overall the shape of the bag and the size of it, it is gonna lend a little bit more structure than the other styles. So here it is next to the Madeline. I'm gonna put these two this way as well. So you can really see them side by side. Hopefully you can see there in the camera a little bit there. Kind of zoom in to show you there. So. As you can see, obviously the Madeline is a little bit bigger of a bag, but that's what the two of those look like next to each other. And there you have the Caroline on the left and the Brittany on the right. You can really see the two of these next to each other. Again, the Caroline is much larger. You're obviously gonna be able to fit a ton more in that style than the Brittany. And then of course those two styles side by size, a little bit more kind of closer in look wise than the Brittany was to the Madeline. The pockets are kind of similar on the side. Obviously, again, Caroline's gonna be much wider on the bottom, being that Britney is a, sm a smaller style overall. Um, but these two are great options if you, say for example, don't own a Lily J bag and you wanna try a style, but you're torn between a large one and a small one, these are kind of a really good pairing together. Now I'm gonna jump right in to packing a couple of Lily Jade items into the Britney so that you can see how many will hold, for example, the wristlet bag, as well as the packing cases, and even Lily Jade's wallet. A lot of you are wondering how many of those items would fit inside 
So let's go ahead and get into that. Right here, I have two of Lily Jade's wristlets, which I love. I actually just moved back into this green one because I haven't used it in a little while and I love it in the fall and the winter. I have it all packed up at the moment. I have a full review on this. I'll link it down below for those of you that may have forgotten about this little gem or haven't seen it in a while. But this fits great inside the Britney horizontally and you still have a ton of room in there. The bag itself is actually wider on the bottom than you would think it is looking at it from the front. So you can really pack a lot kind of across the base of the bag. Obviously the wristlet is fully packed. It's in there, it's great. You can also fit more than just that in there at a time. For example, the large wallet by Lily Jade. This is a great option that you can kind of pack in there. Doesn't even put a dent in there as far as the room and what this bag will hold. Let's talk packing cases. That was probably the number one question I got is what size packing cases will fit inside this Britney bag and how many of them will fit inside. So right off of the bat, let's talk about the largest one. This one here is not going to fit horizontally into this bag. I mean, maybe it would if you really, really squeeze it, but I wouldn't. I'm putting it in vertically. Again, it's not going to fit. Um, the bag is a little bit shorter than this. So this one is out, the, not, not an option. <laughs> but the medium piece, as well as the small piece, both fit really well inside this bag. And I would actually venture to say, I should probably grab another packing case so you can see. You can fit multiple packing cases into the bottom of this bag. I don't even know that I'm really doing it justice by showing you, but as you can see, I can kind of pull my hand and you have all of that room still at the bottom of this bag. So I have the medium one there that has activities and then snacks here, the small one, and I probably, I can probably put even the wristlet in there, I would say. I haven't tried this out yet, but there's just a lot more room in this bag than you think there is. Oh yeah, like wristlet, medium piece, as well as the small piece. And look how nice and organized that is with room on top to kind of throw additional items. Um, and I will, I will say also that even with packing all three of those things in there, you still have this outside pocket as well as this pocket on the bag. And it does not, it does not impede in the space that you have back here. So if you want to pack, say stuff for the kiddos inside packing cases and all of that and have all your stuff easily accessible on the outside, it, that would be an awesome option. Let's touch on electronics really quickly. This here is a regular sized iPad, um, and I think it's pretty much the largest size electronic that's gonna fit comfortably inside this bag. You can put it horizontally, you can put it vertically with no issues there. Actually, let me try horse. Yes, you can fit it horizontally, no problems whatsoever. Now, I don't have anything larger, like I don't have the iPad Pro or anything like that, but I would venture to say that you could probably put that in vertically, um, cause I don't think it's that much taller than a regular iPad. Don't quote me on that though. I don't have one. Um, but you could probably fit it in vertically if you didn't want to zip it, for example. Um, if you kind of leave your bags open to like I do most of the time, but that's a regular iPad. You are not going to be able to fit any type of laptop in this bag. <laughs> this is not a laptop situation type bag. The, um, 13 inch stuck up a good bit here. And then there was no way you were going in, um, horizontally with that. So there is, um, a good amount of room, but it's not a laptop bag. I got a couple of questions about size wise of typical items, like say a folder or a magazine or a book. I'm just gonna pop these in there really quick so that you can get an idea. That's a standard magazine. You're not gonna be able to fit that in vertically or horizontally. But again, if you're just carrying it over the crook of your arm and you're going in and out of places and you have one, um, you can definitely stick it in there and just not zip it. This is a standard size folder. It's even bigger than the magazine, so obviously, um, that's not gonna be a good option as well. Planner wise, I know you guys are wondering that one. This is a big Erin Condren life planner. It's actually their monthly planner, but the same setup, same size and everything like that. A big coil bound type of planner. And this fits in here so well. I was so excited when I first put it in there because you guys know I love to carry my planner around with me and it fits so good. It's, it's a great, great fit. I can even put in a small um, notebook. This is like the A5 size. I know this is another common planner size. Absolutely no issues there either. Um, you could even put these horizontally if you really wanted to. The life planner might be a little bit of a, nope, not even, not even an issue there. So it's a great, uh, it's a really great planner bag. And of course this here folio system, another great option. No issues popping in there whatsoever. You have the folio, you have your small packing case and tons of room still left in this bag. 
All right, last but not least, before we jump right in to the packing video part of this video, let's talk water bottles. This, this and the packing cases were my number one question. What size water bottles are going to fit on the side of this bag? And I, in my opinion, the only size that looks right in this bag and fits comfortably would be, of course, your standard water bottle. You have no issues at all packing that in the side of this bag. You could even pack another one over here on this side. So with that being said, obviously most baby bottles, you're gonna have no issue with if you're using this as like a quick trip bag with little infants, water bottles, sippy cups, all of that are going to be no problem over here in that side pocket. And it really does not impede on the room inside the bag there. It doesn't move in a lot. So there's your standard water bottle, just so you guys can get a look at it. I did grab a couple of more. This is the smallest size Swell bottle. I don't remember how many ounces. It's the small one. It's like maybe six. I'm not sure exactly. The bottom has worn off of mine, so I have no idea. But this is another really great option in the size of this bag. Like, look how comfortably it just kind of fits in here. So I think this is an awesome, awesome size. You can go the next size up, which I believe is the 17 ounce. Um, you can fit that in there. And I, I still don't think it's bad, but it's gonna, you know, it definitely fits. So you could put that one in there for sure if you needed to. Now, I don't think any of the wider water bottles like the Owala ones, I did actually, I got an Owala one, let me show you. This is a wider top bottom water bottle and it will fit, but it's just not the best. It's it's not, not a good look, <laughs> but it'll fit if you need it to. And then my big Hydro Flask, again, these, are smaller, like not as wide water bottles, um, and they all fit really well. This one's just obviously too tall, it looks kind of silly, but I got the question a ton, so I wanted to make sure that I touched on it for you all. <laughs> all right, I'm really hoping that that answered a lot of the questions. Let's go ahead and pack it up. All right, so this here is how I like to pack up the Brittany. I have it packed up just for me. There's nothing in this bag for any of my kids. I could easily still, with everything that I have packed in here, throw in a packing case if I need some activities really quickly or a couple of extra snacks. There's definitely still a little bit of room in here. And as you can see from all the comparisons that I just did a second ago, you can really pack this Brittany up so many different ways. So as far as ways you can carry this bag, for those of you that may have missed kind of my in-depth um, detailed review on um, this bag not packed up, um, you can carry it a couple of different ways. You have this grab handle here at the top of the bag and the straps are nice and soft so as you can see they're not going to like stick straight up on you it's really easy to get in and out of this bag they're really really comfortable to carry the bag also comes with the optional shoulder slash messenger strap slash backpack strap so with this strap here you can really wear it however you find it most comfortable all right, let's go ahead and start pulling stuff out because I know this video is already crazy long, so I'm gonna try to go quickly here. Over here in this side pocket, I do have the smallest swell water bottle. I like using this in this pocket because it goes in just really, really smoothly. I've also just put in regular plastic water bottles if I've been you know, grabbing one out of the fridge or whatever, so that's a great pocket for that. Over here in this side pocket, I really, really like this setup. I think it's cute. I love the way it's just nice and secure. I have attached here to the rings on the side, which is for obviously like the messenger strap, um, but I have it attached to the small Lily Jade Old English coin purse, and I love it. I think it's just really small and compact. I love how it's attached here. I have my um, earbuds in there. These are made by the company Studio, so it's kind of longer like an AirPod Pro, if you will. Um, case and they fit great in here. I also think, um, I believe, I need to grab, oh, it's inside my bag. Um, I think the Touchland hand sanitizers will also fit in here. This is great for masks, for coins, for cash, as a little mini wallet, so tons of different things. I just love the way it matches and I think it's really cute on the side of the bag there. You can also very easily tuck your cell phone over here in this side pocket. I have the iPhone 11 Pro. You can fit the Macs in there, you can fit larger cell phones. There's obviously still tons of room in there. Um, and I like how it's pretty secure. I don't find it like falling out or anything like that. On the front here of the bag, you do have the Lily Jade plaque and the gorgeous tassel, that signature on all the Lily Jade bags. Then you have a nice zipper pocket, which I just put 
things in here that I like grab for pretty frequently. It's like a small little catch-all type pocket. I have a bunch of lip products, some Advil. I also have in there a hair tie and some Blistex. So all that kind of stuff I just kind of tuck down in there if I have anything like receipts or things like that. It's just like a catch-all type pocket. Moving on to the back of the bag, which pretty much mirrors the front as far as that pocket goes. Um, you have a hidden pocket right here at the top. You do have the rings here for the backpack um, option. You have a ring here as well as down here at the bottom so you can anchor your strap or just loop it through and be completely hands-free with this one. I have the zipper unzipped here at the top because I attached my keys to the top of this ring. They're just really easy to kind of grab that way. I have a newer O Venture ring to me. I actually just got this one um, and I really like it. It's like they're, I don't know the material of this. It's like a resin material. Um, I think it looks really good with this old English for sure. So I have that one attached here. The ring comes off really easily if you didn't like that option. Um, or you can just of course throw it inside the bag. I also have back here in this back pocket my wallet. I decided to use the Dagny Dover accordion wallet just because it's slim, it's compact. I love the way red looks with old English. So that's the wallet I have just kind of tucked down in the bottom there. Moving on in to the inside or main part of the bag, you do have a zipper that goes completely across the bag. It opens up nice and wide so you can see everything that you have packed inside. Like I mentioned earlier, I can easily still fit inside here like a packing case if I wanted to or a pouch. Um, I just really honestly didn't need to with all of these internal pockets and this big pocket on the outside. Um, but you definitely, I mean, there's more room in here for sure. So inside the main bulk of the bag, I just have my Erin Condren Life Planner. This is the seven by nine size, I believe. Yes, I think so. And I have a book that I'm reading. Um, but besides those two big items that I have kind of tucked in the main part of the bag, you do have a small little key leash over here that you can attach things to. This obviously would be a great spot for your keys as well if you didn't want them hanging out there in the back. Then you have a nice big zipper pocket on the inside with the leather Lily Jade right there. And what I have back here in the zipper pocket is just a face mask should I need it. And then I also have a big package of wet ones. I always carry those with me as well. This pocket is so big. It goes all the way down to the bottom. You can fill it with snacks. You can fill it with pretty much anything. It's a really nice size zipper pocket for sure. Over here on the other side of the bag, you do have two big pockets that are lined kind of at the top here with that leather trim and I just have small little things that I would need to grab for. I have pens over here. These are my absolute favorite pens from Erin Condren. I love these pens. I have a couple of packs of them now and it's really honestly all I use. Um, I also have a hand cream tucked down in there, just one from Bath and Body Works. And then I also have my Touchland hand sanitizer. Let's check, I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see if this fits inside that coin purse. So this here is one of the newest Touchland hand sanitizers. It's a collaboration that they did with Disney and how adorable is that Mickey inside there? <laughs> I love it, um, but I did grab the Lily Jane coin purse just because I was curious if it fit inside and it does. It fits like magic. I will definitely be using this for that. <laughs> Over here in this side pocket, I just have a couple of snacks. I have a Lara bar. I also have a um, fruit bar, one of those That's It fruit bars. And then I have, I think I have, maybe I ate it. Nope, I still have it in there. <laughs> a small little turkey stick. And then I have a big pack of bubble gum. And all of that and more would fit down inside that pocket. All right, so there you have it. If you stuck with me through this entire video, I really appreciate it and I hope it was helpful. I will have links as always to everything mentioned today down below if you have any questions or comments, which I can't imagine you would still have any questions about this bag. No, I'm just kidding. But if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'm always happy to help. Until my next video, I hope you all have a great day.